Verily I, verily I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whosoever and whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, then will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Matthew chapter 21 and verse 21 says, And Jesus answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, if you have faith and do not doubt, you will not only do what, was, what has been done to the fig tree, but even if you say to this mountain, be taken up, or some Bible, some interpretation says, and be removed, and be thrown into the sea, it will happen. The mountain could be anything that the devil try to bring in your life. It could be sickness, cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure. I don't care what it is. Hallelujah. It could be enemies. Hallelujah. Oh, the enemy come from the left and from the right. Hallelujah. But the Bible says that when the enemy come in like a flood, the God will, hallelujah, the spirit of God will raise up a standard. Hallelujah. Against the enemy. Hallelujah. Whatever that mountain is, hallelujah, through Jesus Christ, hallelujah, through the word of God, hallelujah, we have power and authority, hallelujah, to rise up, hallelujah, and to stand against it with the power of the Holy Ghost in the inside of us, hallelujah, oh, we could talk to that storm, hallelujah, if the storm or tornado is heading this way, we could talk to that storm, Hold it in the name of Jesus. Not this way. Hallelujah. I've had dreams that a tornado was coming. Hallelujah. And I spoke to it and it looked and it turned and went the other way. Hallelujah. That's the authority that we have on this earth. Hallelujah. He said greater works than these shall I do. Everything the Father Jesus did when he was on this earth. Hallelujah. We are ordained to do because Jesus said we're going to do greater works. And he was the example. Hallelujah. Of everything. Hallelujah. That we're supposed to do here on this earth, as children of the living God. Mark 16 and 17 says, And these signs would accompany those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. Hallelujah. Luke 10, 17 and 19 says, The 72 returned with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject unto us in your name. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I have given you authority to thread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemies hurt you. I am Messiah. I don't care how it looks. God said that he gave us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. And he said nothing, hallelujah, but I shall by any means hurt you. And that's spiritually, that's physically, that's mentally, that's emotionally, that's financially, and that's socially, hallelujah. In any way the devil try to rise up, in any corner he try to come in, hallelujah. He's a liar because the word of God says so. I am Messiah in the name of Jesus. Matthew 3 and 11 says, I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Acts 2, 2 to 4 says, And suddenly there came a sound from heaven of a rushing and mighty wind, and it filled the, all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them clothing tongues as a fire. And it got up, sat up on each of them. And they were filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Acts 4 and 31 says, And when they had prayed, the place in which they were scattered together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and continued to speak the word of God with boldness. When the Holy Ghost come upon you, 
There is a boldness, hallelujah, that the world can't give you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You feel with the word and you feel with the Holy Ghost. You're going to crucify that flesh. Hallelujah. In other words, you're going to tell the word of God. You're going to preach it even if it means you're going to go to the cross. Jesus did. Hallelujah. And many of the disciples did. Hallelujah. Oh, Messiah, Messiah. I talked about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Hallelujah. They told the truth. They stood for truth, even if they meant they were going to burn in the furnace. But their faith was in God, not in man. Hallelujah. Their fear was in God, not in man. Hallelujah. Daniel went to the lion's den. Hallelujah. His faith was in God, not in man. Hallelujah. And many of the people in the Bible, hallelujah, there are perfect examples of how we need to be walking fearless in the power of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. When you wipe out fear, hallelujah, then the devil had no hold on you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Acts 13 and 52 says, And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Ghost. 1 Corinthians 12, 10 to 11 says, To another the working of miracles, and to another prophecy, and to another the ability to distinguish between spirits, and to another various kinds of tongues, and others the interpretation of tongues. All these are in, empowered by one and the same spirit who, um, um, who um, portions to each one individual as he wills. Hallelujah. Hey, I'm Messiah. Each and every one of us have been empowered with the gift of God that we have to step out and work on. Hallelujah. Whatever God called you to do, if he called someone to prophesy, you prophesy with power. If he called you to interpret, to interpret tongues, you do it with the power of God behind you. Whatever God, whatever God has appointed you to do from the foundations of the earth, make sure you do it. Hallelujah. For the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. Acts 3, 6 to 8 says, But Peter said, I have no silver and gold, but what I do have I give to you. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth, rise up and walk. And take." Um, and he took him by the right hand and raised him up. And immediately his feet and ankles were made strong. And leaping up, he stood and began to walk and entered the temple with them and walking and leaping and praising God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. This man was sitting at the gate for years. Hallelujah. He couldn't walk. Hallelujah. I am Messiah. But when the man of God came by, hallelujah. Oh, Rabbi, see Messiah. That anointing, hallelujah. It breaks the yoke, hallelujah. It casts out demons, hallelujah. It delivers from sickness, hallelujah. Anything that's not like God, it has to go, hallelujah. He Rabbi, see Messiah. He Rabbi, see Messiah. He was at the gate for many years, but that day he was standing and he was jumping and leaping. Hallelujah. Oh, Rabbi, see, that's the power of God, and that's the power that the body of Christ is supposed to operate in today on this time on this earth. Hallelujah. We're supposed to be here representing heaven as children of God. Hallelujah. And then if you go to Acts 16 and 18 says, it, it talks about the damsel. It was a damsel. Hallelujah. She was, she had, she was possessed. She was used of the devil. Hallelujah. And you, I'm going to read this here because I'm going to say something about this. If you go to Acts 16, 18, it says here, And this she, may, uh, this she did many days, but Paul being grieved because he had discerning of spirit and said to the spirit, I command you thee in the name of Jesus, come out from her. And that same hour she was delivered because she was going around saying, These are the servants of of the Most High God, who show unto us the way of salvation. She was telling the truth. But the devil is still a liar because it wasn't from God, it was from the devil. When the devil went to the mountain and took Jesus after he fasted for 40 days, he quoted part of the verse. He knew it better than we do. That's why we have to discern what is of God and what is not of God. Acts 9 and 34 says, and Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ, heal you. Rise and make your bed. And immediately he rose. That's the power that we're supposed to be walking in as the body of Christ. Acts 19 and 6 said, 
And when Paul had laid his hand upon them, the Holy Ghost came upon them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. 